Running a farm is one of the toughest jobs imaginable. Early mornings, grueling manual labor, and long hours under the relentless sun. But when one farmer's repeated pleas to stop illegal parking on his land fell on deaf ears, he decided it was time to take action. He was done playing nice and ready to teach these trespassers a lesson they wouldn't forget. Before we start, smash the like button and make sure to subscribe if you haven't, and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any new stories. Dava Bobe is the owner of a farm that thoughtless people assume they can use as a parking lot. He's dependent on his land and its mineral-rich soil. But once a week, everything he works hard for is threatened. Bobe is a humble man and would rather not draw any attention to himself or his land. However, a viral video of what he did to stop people from parking on his land changed his life for the better. This eventually led to the police showing up, but did they side with him? Ever since Bobe's village of Dubak became part of Zagreb, Croatia, the town's weekly flea market has drawn a flood of Zagreb residents hunting for bargains. What was once a quiet town now overflows with people eager to find treasure in what some might call junk. While some locals saw the influx as an opportunity for quick profits, farmers like Bobe were anything but thrilled. The surge of visitors meant a surge of cars, and the designated parking area quickly became insufficient. Desperate drivers began parking wherever they could, turning Bobay's farm across the street into an impromptu overflow lot. Unfortunately, Bobay's farm, located just across the street, became a prime parking area once the main lot filled up. His land is so large that it seemed like an obvious choice for people to park their cars there. Most thought parking for just a few hours wasn't harmful, especially since others were doing it too. However, Bobe had made it clear repeatedly that he didn't appreciate shoppers parking on his farmland every Sunday. Although most people only see cars as a danger when they're moving, that wasn't the case for Bobe. After a video of his revenge went viral, there was backlash from people who claimed he went too far. While trespassing on a small part of Bobe's vast land for a short period might not seem like a big deal, leaving vehicles behind was problematic. Parked cars can release harmful chemicals into the soil, ruining its fertility. As a farmer, Bobe's livelihood depends on the quality of his soil and the crops it produces. He already had enough to worry about with one of the largest landfills in Zagreb nearby. The greatest threat to the soil around landfills is leachate, a toxic liquid formed when rainwater filters through waste, absorbing dangerous substances like methane, carbon dioxide, and acids. When this leachate contaminates the soil and groundwater, it can poison crops or render the soil infertile. At first, Bobe tried to be polite, informing people of the problem, but it had the opposite effect. More and more cars began to park on his property, likely damaging his precious soil. A video captured the scene. Cars parked in neat rows on Bobe's land every Sunday. Then the plot thickened as Bobe, ready to exact his revenge, appeared on the scene. Despite his frustration, he wasn't malicious in his actions. Instead of slashing tires or having cars towed, he chose a method that was both fitting and unforgettable. After countless polite requests were ignored, Bobe knew it was time to act. He climbed onto his red tractor, turned the key, and got to work. Not on planting crops, but on teaching a lesson. As puzzled onlookers watched, he began plowing the soil in front of the parked cars. People went about their business, thinking he was just a farmer working on a Sunday. Little did they know what was really happening. Methodically, Bobe plowed back and forth, turning the land into a soft, tilled mess. It seemed ordinary at first, but soon people started to notice something was amiss. When shoppers returned from the market and tried to leave, they discovered their cars were hopelessly stuck in the freshly turned earth. Bobet stood by, smiling at the sight of his plan coming to fruition. No one who regularly parked on his property ever imagined they'd be trapped, unable to drive away. However, not everyone shared Bobet's satisfaction. Complaints began to mount, and it wasn't long before the police arrived. They were perplexed by the sight of numerous cars trapped in freshly plowed fields and approached Bobet, who was calmly sitting on his tractor. And then Normally, he could have been charged with obstruction of traffic, but this situation was anything but normal. Yes, the land was Bobe's property, but the market customers needed parking to support the town's economy. The police had to have a word with him. After speaking with Bobe, they concluded that he had done nothing wrong. 
While it was certainly inconvenient for the people whose cars were stuck, Bobay was within his rights. The trespassers had parked without permission, and he was entitled to plow his fields whenever he wanted, especially to protect his livelihood. The police left without even giving him a warning. One woman in a silver Peugeot struggled to free her car. She tried moving forward, reversing, turning left and right, but nothing worked. It seemed she might succeed, but the closer she got to the road, the more stuck her car became. An officer even attempted to drive it out, but to no avail. Bobay had made his point. Satisfied that the woman had learned her lesson, Bobay decided to help. He brought his tractor back out and flattened the land around her car, allowing her to get back onto the road. It was clear she would never park on his land again. After the incident, videos of Bobay's actions went viral, especially on YouTube. The question now was, would anyone dare to park there again? In the end, Bobay's creative solution not only protected his land, but also sparked a heated debate online. His actions resonated with many who understood the importance of preserving one's livelihood. The viral video showcased a determined farmer standing up for his rights, and it left viewers both entertained and thoughtful. <laughs> if you enjoyed the story, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon. Stay tuned for more compelling stories and unique solutions to everyday problems. Thank you for watching.